in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and a sparkling river, lived a renowned potter named Elara. Her hands possessed an extraordinary gift, transforming shapeless lumps of clay into exquisite works of art. Her creations adorned homes and palaces alike, admired by all who beheld them. The villagers often referred to her as the sculptor of dreams, because her pottery seemed to capture the very essence of imagination. Elara was, however, a deeply reserved woman who rarely left her studio. She immersed herself in her work, crafting pieces of unparalleled beauty. Every vase, every plate, every jug was a testament to her dedication and skill. But amidst her undeniable talent, there was a secret known only to her, a secret that shrouded her heart in a veil of melancholy. Hidden beneath her cheerful exterior, Elara struggled with an overwhelming sense of imperfection. She believed that her work could always be better, that her creations could be more flawless. No matter how intricate or breathtaking her pieces, she could never shake the feeling that something was amiss. This pursuit of perfection often led her to discard nearly perfect works. Convinced they weren't good enough. One crisp autumn morning, as the sun painted the sky with hues of orange and gold, a stranger entered the village. His name was Kael, a wanderer with an aura of wisdom that drew people towards him. Kael was an artist himself, but he had a unique approach to his craft. He sought beauty in imperfections, believing that flaws were what made creations truly remarkable. Kael's arrival stirred up whispers among the villagers, and eventually, word reached Alara's ears, intrigued. She decided to seek him out, her heart pounding with both curiosity and trepidation. She found him sitting on the river bank, gazing at the water as if it held the secrets of the universe. Are you the one they call Kael? Elara asked, her voice carrying a hint of vulnerability. Kael turned to her, his eyes twinkling with understanding. Ah, you must be Elara. The potter of dreams I've heard tales of your extraordinary talent. Elara blushed, unaccustomed to such praise. And I've heard of your unique perspective on art, the embrace of imperfections. Kael nodded, gesturing for her to sit beside him. Indeed, I believe that imperfections are the fingerprints of the soul upon a creation. They are what make each piece truly special. A reflection of the artist's journey. Elara listened intently as Gael shared his philosophy. His words resonated deeply within her. Like a melody that had always played quietly in the background of her thoughts. He spoke of the inherent beauty in asymmetry. The elegance in a chipped edge. And the magic of embracing the unpredictable nature of the creative process. As the days turned into weeks. Elara and Kael spent hours together, discussing art, imperfections, and life itself. With Kael's guidance, Elara began to see her work in a new light. She realized that her relentless pursuit of flawlessness had blinded her to the charm of her creation's uniqueness. One evening, as the setting sun cast a warm glow over the village, Elara stood before her pottery wheel. Her hands trembling with a mixture of excitement and uncertainty. She began to shape a vase. Allowing her fingers to move freely. Embracing the imperfections that naturally emerged. Instead of discarding a piece with a slight wobble. She celebrated it as a testament to her humanity. Word of Alara's transformation spread like wildfire through the village. Villagers flocked to her studio. Marveling at the new creations that bore her signature touch, a touch that embraced both her remarkable skill and her beautifully flawed nature. The moral of the story shines through. Embracing imperfections is an art in itself. Like Elara, we often strive for an unattainable level of perfection, believing that it defines our worth. However, it's in our flaws that our true beauty lies.
just as a chipped edge or an irregular shape can make a piece of art unforgettable. Our imperfections make us unique and authentic. By embracing our flaws, we create a masterpiece that is truly our own, worthy of admiration and love.